Welcome to Excel 2010 statistics video number 64. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, Business 210 Chapter 6, second file, Poisson and Exponential.xlsm, click on the link below the video. Hey, we want to start on the sheet P and E. Hey, we're going to talk about the Poisson probability distribution and the exponential probability distribution. Now, Chapter 5, we looked at the Poisson probability distribution, we know that it's a discrete random variable that counts the number of occurrences in an interval. So for example, in one hour, 20 people visit our store. The time interval is one hour. The number of occurrences is 20. That's the mean. If we know that, we can use our Poisson probability distribution to calculate the probability if 10 people came in, or what's the probability of 30 people coming in. We use the Poisson.dist function in chapter 5. In chapter 6, we talked about continuous random variables. And one of the uh, examples was a exponential probability distribution. Now, this, this, this distribution can give us the probability of the length of the interval between occurrences. So for example, if we're using Poisson and we know 20 people come in in one hour, the relationship is 1 divided by 20, meaning the time interval 1 hour, the mean is 20. 1 divided by 20 gives us the mean time between arrivals. And the mean time we can derive that, mean time between arrivals, we can derive that from the Poisson. That becomes the mean for the exponential, and we can calculate our probabilities. All right, so exponential is a continuous random variable. And time, of course, or the length uh, measuring if you're doing distance, is a continuous variable. In chapter 6, of course, we saw the how to use the expon.dist function. Now here's our function um, and some uh, definition of variables. The mean equals the variance for Poisson. We, of course, used our Poisson.dist. Uh, for exponential, we have two. We have the probability, I'm sorry, we have the density function, which determines the height of the curve, but not the probability. And then we have this, which can be used to calculate the cumulative probabilities. But we use the exponent.dist. In both cases, both of these functions, this is for discrete Poisson distribution. This is for continuous exponential distribution. These functions enable us to either calculate cumulative proper probabilities or the height of the, the uh, chart. The only difference is the Poisson, when you calculate a probability, remember it's height and probability. So our, our pictures look like this, right? Here's the Poisson. The height is not only the height of the column, but the probability for an individual occurrence. When we get down to continuous probability distributions, we can't calculate individual occurrences. We're always calculating between two. All right, let's see. Um, so Poisson, exponential. Uh, the only other thing is the mean equals the standard deviation in the uh, exponential. So let's look at an example. Or, or the, the, premise, the whole point of this video is to see the connection. And if the Poisson distribution describes a number of occurrences in an interval, then the exponential distribution describes the length of the interval. And we can calculate the mean for the exponential distribution from our information in the Poisson. Let's look at an example. If we know Poisson like 20 visitors per one hour, right? So we know our interval and we're counting with the Poisson. Our mean, our expected value is 20. Let's do a calculation here. Here's uh, the the picture, right? We need to add up all of these uh, individual probabilities of exactly 25, 24, 20, all the way down to 0. So we can go ahead and use our equals our Poisson.dist. All we need is our x. Remember, all these functions, the probability functions that we looked at, they calculate from the low end all the way to the x we throw in. So we throw in our discrete uh, x number of visitors in one hour, comma, our mean. And we're going to tell it cumulative. Right? So 0.8878. That's the probability that we're going to get 25 or fewer. Now, 
we have this information here, visitors, hours, we can calculate for our exponential, the mu. So we can calculate mu for the exponential. All right, this expected value, this mu we're going to calculate is average time between arrivals. All right, so the expected mean in hours, one hour divided by 20, right? 20, hour, 20 visitors per hour, that's going to mean 0 0.05 hours. But now, I might be interested in hours, I might be interested in minutes. I'm going to convert it to minutes. Equals, well, if this is the hours, that's the proportion of one hour. And how many minutes are in an hour? 60. And you can hard code that number in because it doesn't change. All right, so three minutes. X equals time between arrivals at a store, not website. Our next example is website. So we can then, from this information, write 3. That is, in minutes, we can calculate um, an example here. We could say, hey, what's the probability that the time between arrivals will be less than or equal to 5? So our picture would look like this. I kind of got it crooked, but there's 5 minutes. Remember, it's all about area when you're doing continuous probability distribution. So, and x has to be greater than 0, so 0 to 5 minutes. What's the probability that our uh, time of arrival is less than or equal to 5? And remember, all these probability functions we've seen go from the low to the high, so we're going to throw the 5 in to the x pawn dot dist. Our x, our lambda, is 1 divided by. So 1 divided by our mean, which is 3 minutes, and we want cumulative. So there we go. All right, so from the fact that we knew this was a pro, uh, Poisson distribution, and we knew the number of occurrences, the mean, and the time interval, we were able to calculate the time between intervals, the mu, and then calculate some probabilities from it. Let's go over to our second sheet, P&E. Let's look at another example, website visit. So we have Number of visits per minute, 8, time interval is 1. So we can immediately, oh, and this we have to know that this follows the Poisson probability distribution, which means, you know, the population data tends to shh, shh, go like that. Mean time between visits, we can calculate that easily, equals 1 divided by 8. Now, both of these examples were, uh, one minute and one hour, but it could be any time interval, and you do that division. Now, I want to show you how to add that fractional number formatting. So that cell right there, 1 divided by 8 is 0.125. Control 1 to open format cells, and sure enough, if you've never seen this, oh, so cool, there's a fraction number format. One digit, two digits, whatever. Um, so there you go. I usually control one like to change it to, to this. It actually scoots it over and indents it a bit. But that way, if I change this to 10 or 20 or something, right, it'll show. Control one. This is a good uh, lesson in number format. If I put this and I put changes to 10, it can't calculate it. It's not allowed. That number formatting says only one digit. So control one. I click there and control one. I'm going to select that one but I'm going to keep this 8. All right, so we're going to talk about the Poisson here. From that information, where our mu for Poisson is what? Is 8, right? So those are our functions we're allowed to use for Poisson, right? And so we can ca this calculates height and probability. Now, from this information, we can also calculate the mu for the exponential. It is that one right there. We already calculated it. And I already have that uh, uh, formatted there. All right, so here are our functions, right? Our functions there for x greater than or equal to 0. This calculates the height only. This one calculates the probability. Those are the actual functions. And over to the side here, I have some check figures somewhere. Oh, down here, when we do our truck check figures, I have, I have these, but we're not going to use those. We're just looking at these to see how to, how, if you were to, to do it this way, to, how you plug in the 8 and how you take the 1 8th and you plug it into these. We can use our 
poisson.dist and our expone.dist. But the point is, from this Poisson information, we were uh, able to then calculate exponential probabilities given that we have that 1 8 there. All right, so our mean for our Poisson is 8. What's the probability of getting exactly 0 visitors in 1 minute? equals Poisson, our x, comma, and our mean, there's our mean, and we're going to do 0. Okay, so very small probability that we're going to get uh, exactly 0. Now, let's look at a different situation. What if we wanted to calculate x equals to 0 in 25 seconds. As long as we know the original time is 1 minute, and we know our mean at 1 minute, we can go ahead and calculate the new mean. Now, this new mean better be less than 8, because 25 seconds is less than a minute. No problem. We can take 25 seconds, and we know that there's 60 seconds in a minute. So this, in essence, is the proportion of the mean we're going to take. So 3.333, 3 and 1 third arrivals on average, our mean, our expected value, every 25 seconds. Now we can calculate the probability of getting exactly zero visits to our website in 25 seconds equals the Poisson, our x, our new mean, and this is exact, so we put zero. Number four, discrete probability, this discrete Poisson.distribution probability function. True equals cumulative, which means it's going to add all of them up. We're using false, so that gives us the height of an the height of the column or an exact probability given a certain x. Alright, so the probability is quite low that we'll get zero in 25 seconds, right? If we're not getting anybody zero every 25 seconds, uh, we know something's not quite right or something is unusual. Now, the cool thing about this video is we're just seeing that from the Poisson information, we can go ahead and calculate the mean for the exponential. This is the time between visits. So the mean time between visitors at this website is 1 eighth of a minute. Now, let's calculate the probability that we're going to have the mean time between visits, a quarter of a minute or less. So the probability is less than or equal to 0.25. Expone.dist. We put in our x. That's 0.25 minutes or less. Remember, the, the functions calculate from the low end all the way to our x. And we're dumping in a quarter of a minute. So it's going to be less than or equal to that. Our lambda is always going to be 1 divided by our mean. And then we are doing cumulative. Now for the this expone.dist is a continuous function. This one calculates from the low end all the way to the x you throw in. The probability density function, or a 0, that calculates the height of the curve. We're putting a 1, because we want cumulative and close parentheses. So the probability that our arrival time between visitors at this website is less than or equal to 0.25 minutes is 0.86. All right, so in this video, we just saw the connection between Poisson and exponential. We know if we have some informa information about the, the Poisson, right, we can then do calculations based on the Poisson or the exponential. All right, see you next video.